More mosquitoes in Connecticut have tested positive for the West Nile virus, but doctors say there is absolutely no reason to panic. Channel 3's Olivia Schuler joins us now live in Hartford. So, Olivia, what do people need to know about this situation? Well, Roger, the good news is that here in the state, there are no reported cases of the West Nile virus impacting people. However, doctors say that you need to remain vigilant and protect yourself to prevent these type of mosquito bites. Now, towns and cities across Connecticut are reporting positive tests of mosquitoes taken by the Connecticut Agricultural Experiment Station, which is responsible for weekly trappings and testings of mosquitoes in the state. That includes Hartford, South Windsor, Southington, New Haven, Milford, and Groton. Again, no human cases, but doctors of infectious disease, Dr. Paul Anthony, says be cautious when you're outside. Let's get rid of the breeding grounds. Don't let those guys make it into your home. And then also, if you're outside, take your precautions not to get bitten. It's recommended that you wear loose, long sleeve shirts and pants when outdoors. Avoid perfumes and scented products. Don't stand by the water and stay indoors when mosquitoes are out and about. Now, in the next half hour, I'm going to share with you some other areas in the state that are being impacted by the West Nile virus, those mosquitoes that are carrying the disease. And one thing that's not on this list is bug spray. But make sure you have that with you at all times if you are in those certain areas that we know that mosquitoes are carrying the virus. We also have a list on our website of, a, of the areas that have the virus reported. We're live this morning in Hartford, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.